Boom, me do, ba do, de de boom. Oh, loo, loo, little loo, little loo, 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 with freckles on your skin. Always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using dad's necktie for the tail of your kite. Using mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little loo, loo, little loo, loo, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Oh, you're wild, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to take, little Lulu. We love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. that grown-ups act pretty weird around babies? First, they get away with doing all kinds of weird things with their faces. I bet if they did that walking down the sidewalk, they'd probably get arrested. But what's even worse is the way grown-ups talk to babies. I once saw a mother lean down into a baby carriage and say, Oopsie, wootsie, snookum, wookums. I looked in and there was this baby just staring up at this lady thinking, I'm sure you're a very nice lady, but... You're making no sense at all. So naturally, the mother said, How's my sweetie, weedy, poopy, whoopy? Well, if you ask me, if that's how parents speak to their babies, it's no wonder it takes them so long to learn how to talk. dear. Unless your father is sitting on it. Hey! You don't have my doll's wig, do you, Mr. Moppet? I'm used to losing hair, Annie, not finding it. Hmm. This sounds like a job for... The spider can catch your thief. And I even know who it is already. You do? Who? Your dad, of course. He could use some hair. Well, for your information, he doesn't have it. I'll prove he took it. But first, I need a disguise. <laughs> Why couldn't he just get into his disguise at your house, Lulu? That'd be too simple. Just get me into your living room so I can keep an eye on your dad. <sighs> Tubby! Hey! What's going on? Gotcha! My first rescue of a runaway plant. I hope it's the last. <gasps> what? Thanks for saving my plant, Officer McNabb. Lulu, did you know it talks? Sometimes it doesn't stop. What I meant is that it's a, a, a special, um... Talking Mother's Day gift. Talking Mother's Day gift. Well, that explain. <gasps> Mother's Day? Oh, no. I forgot Mother's Day. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do in the line of duty. Us, too. Uh, Pop, this is a special Mother's Day gift. What a nice plant feels dry. It needs some water. Gosh. I have half a mind to drop this case. At least you don't smell like garbage anymore. Here's a new disguise, Tubby. Oh, no. No. Well, I suppose that sometimes on difficult cases, a detective will dress like a lady. And now, for the final touch. You look swell, Tubby. <laughs> 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 
Your mother's hat was a great idea, Lulu. Your father won't suspect a thing. When we're with my dad, I'll say, there's a mouse under the chair! And I'll search him, find the wig, and solve the case. Oh, no! Mouse! Eek! A mouse! Oh, hey! Don't worry. I'll get it. Get off! <laughs> hey, look out for the... I better be going now, Mr. Moppet. It was nice meeting you. Lulu, we really must have a talk about your choice of friends. Sure. Did you find the wig? I don't know. I found a whole bunch of things in his pocket. Say, do you smell smoke? Uh oh. Ouch! Ow! 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 Oh, I'm burning! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Tubby, you ruined my dress. <laughs> And my mom's hat! Your father's pipe! Doesn't he know smoking is bad for your health? I don't know what's worse to have in the house. A thief or a detective? Let's get Tubby another disguise. <gasps> I had to customize your dad's clothes, so he'll think I'm a real detective. I think he's gonna think something else. Where did you get that hat and coat? That's what I thought he'd think. You have to come down sometime, and I'll be waiting for you. Hey, Lulu, I solved the case. The mother bird must have flown into your room and taken the wig. She made a nest out of it. Gee, Tubby, you really are a good detective. But I guess I can't take the wig back now. Sure you can. Yippee! <gasps> there, case solved. Gee, thanks, Tubby. But what about those little birds? Don't worry about it, Annie. Tubby thought of them, too. Want to play some more hide-and-seek? How about if we just play hide? Aren't feet weird? And toes bizarre! Not to mention ugly and... Ugh. Well, you get the point. I mean, you'd think that when they were designing the human body, they could have come up with something better than feet to put on the end. Something more fun. <laughs> like a bike! <laughs> I finally convinced my parents to take me to the amusement park the other day, and boy, was it great! We ate popcorn, pizza, and pink cotton candy, and then we went on the rumble, the zapper, and the twist. It was so much fun! I guess that's why they call it an amusement park. Funny, my parents didn't look too amused. They just looked sick. liked your lunch, dear. But did you have to bring it home with you? This is the place. They're only a dollar. Funny. All of a sudden, I'm hungry. <laughs> we can share. What about this one, sweetheart? <laughs> Thank you. See, Tubby, this is how you treat a lady. Um, aren't you forgetting something? Your rose, monsieur. <sighs> We don't need to see the menu, because we'll have whatever it is people are eating for a dollar. Ah, the frog legs. <gasps> a marvelous choice. And for your main course? <gasps> Monsieur did not pay for the rolls! Hmm. 
people eat frog legs? They actually pay for them and eat them, too? I know where they could get their own frogs and for free. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I bet if we catch lots of frogs, that restaurant will buy them. Then we could pay for the rolls you took. I didn't steal them. Rolls are free at restaurants. Well, this is it. The last time we were here, the swamp was full of frogs. I hope they don't remember that you scared them off with rocks. Oh, frogs are too dumb to... Remember? This might be trickier than we thought. Here I come, Tubby. Shoo, Froggy! Shoo, Froggy! Hey, shake a leg! Shoo! Shoo! Gotcha! Good catch! But don't squeeze him! That's in case he gets hungry. We don't want a frog with skinny legs. <gasps> That's my mother's hat box cover! She'll be really mad! Whoa! Oh. Listen to that frog croak. I bet he's laughing at us. If I were him, I'd laugh, too. Us fellers built a raft last time we came. We could use it to get the hat box cover. And teach those frogs who's boss around this swamp. Those frogs think they're so smart, but we'll get them if we camouflage the raft. Come on! When we get near the frogs, remember to duck into the leaves. I'll help! Now we're cooking. No, we're not. We're sinking. This raft will never sink. <gasps> Too bad we're not on it. I've had enough of this. I'm getting my hat box cover, and that's it. Yeah, darn. No more frog hunting for me. You've got to expect a little trouble, Lulu. You call getting outsmarted by frogs a little trouble? I bet we can still catch some. No way! Wow! Good thing you grabbed those rolls. We got them! I knew this was a good idea. I couldn't help myself. I had to have more of those delicious frog legs. Well, we've got a whole box full you can eat. I think I've had one too many. I wonder where that maitre d' is. This is pretty important. Maybe we should only talk to the maitre a. Ah, Mademoiselle and Monsieur are back for more rolls, I see. Well, they are only free if you eat a meal. You'll be giving us more than free rolls when you see what we've got. We have some frogs here for you. Lots of frogs. Freshly caught frogs with two legs each. Frogs? For me? See? No! Ah! Huh? Huh? And then my boss said, Hey, wait! Ah! A frog in your throat, dear. Gosh, why is everyone afraid? Where do they think frog legs come from, anyway? Responsible. You must get rid of these frogs. <laughs> Please help me. I'll pay you a nickel a piece to get rid of them. Sure. Wow, there's sure a lot of money in frogs. But I don't want them to be eaten after all. We should let them go. Okay, Lulu. The frog legs here are better than the last place. Oh, we'll let them go, all right, in this restaurant. Ever think about how some words are really funny when you put them together? Like toilet training. I mean, what would you train a toilet to do? Roll over and fetch? <laughs> Maybe an attack toilet would keep burglars away. 
but I think a dog would be better and definitely easier to walk. <laughs> and then there's fly fishing. Not only would the hooks have to be teensy-weensy, but what would you use for bait? <laughs> and let's not forget baby powder. Do you just add water and presto baby? <laughs> well, let me tell you, that's not how it works. I know, because I whipped up a batch with water, and you know what I got? I got yelled at for making a mess. your father is doing? Okay, Mom. What you doing, Dad? I thought you went to buy wood for a new bookshelf. Huh, new wood is too expensive, so I'm using some of these extra floor supports. I need a hand. Could you please ask your mother to come down? Okay. Whoa! Rat! <laughs> On second thought, maybe I will go and buy some wood. I'd sure like to help my dad find that wood he needs. Hey, maybe Tubby and the boys know. They used wood to make their clubhouse. Hiya, fellas! Uh, ha! Hey, give me back my marble, Iggy. Fellas, can we ask you a question? No. Can't you see we're having a club meeting? It's members only. If we were members, then could we ask you a question? No! no. The day we let girls into the club is the day we move our clubhouse. <laughs> Ow! Now look at what you did. That's why we don't let girls in our club. Fine. Hmm. Lower. Stores will be built on this spot. So they're finally going to tear down this old building. I think I know where we're going to get some really cheap wood after all. <laughs> this is a great idea. Hey, who put that sign there? Whoever's building stores here. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have to move the clubhouse. To where? There are no other empty lots around anywhere. I think we can trick someone into letting us use their backyard if we let them into the club. Lulu! <laughs> no! But we gotta save the clubhouse. Okay. You're right. Gee. Huh? Say, Lulu, wanna join our club? No. You could be president. You'll be boss, and you can do anything you want. Only if Annie can be a member, too. She said yes, fellers. Oh, Tubby sure can handle women. Fellers, meet President Lulu. President? Come back after lunch for your first meeting as President, Lulu. See you later, boys. Don't worry. She'll have no real say. Oh. Just like a grown-up president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what are you doing? Don't you remember? I said the day we let girls into the club is the day we move the clubhouse. And as president, you get the honor of leading the way. Huh? huh? We'll push. <laughs> Gee, we sure elected a strong president. Fellers, mind if we take a shortcut? How do you know where we're going? Women's intuition. I don't like the sound of that. 
Ah! Now let's take the real shortcut. Ah! Piggy, go see where we're going. Look at that. They're even making cars out of wood. And I can't find enough cheap wood for a lousy bookshelf. Right on time. Improper turn, speeding, and taking a policeman's uniform? What is this? A $5 ticket is what it is. Where will we get $5? Right here. I'll buy some of this wood for $5. Thank you. <laughs> This'll do just fine. <laughs> well, I don't like it. You shouldn't have tricked us, Lulu. You said when I was president, I could do anything I want. So, one lump or two? <laughs> Today in class, the nutritionist said, you are what you eat. And you know what? I found out she's right. At lunch in the cafeteria, I saw our nutty science teacher eating nuts. And Biff Bentley, the big school show-off, was eating a hot dog. And then when I got home, my dad was in his usual spot on the sofa watching TV, but he was eating potato chips. And then Mom came in and told him he was a big couch potato. So then I started thinking that being what you eat can come in really handy. Like for my big math test tomorrow. Instead of studying, I asked Mom for something really special for dinner. Brains! Boom, me do, ba dee dee dee, boom. Oh, Lulu, little Lulu, little Lulu, with freckles on your skin, always in and out of trouble, but mostly on the run. Lulu, with freckles on your skin, always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using ads, they tie for the tail of your kite. Using on slipstick for the letters you write. Little Lulu, little Lulu, there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you do when you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Blow your wire, you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to take. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. When our art teacher took us to a museum to see all the paintings, she said that a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, I saw one called Lady with an Apple. That's only four words. Some of the other paintings were worth more words than that, like very, 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 very weird and really, 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 really bizarre. But then it got so crowded, us kids couldn't see anything. Our teacher said it's because all these people came to see art. Well, I don't know if they came to see Art or Fred or anyone else. I think everybody just came to see the paintings of naked people. Finally, our class saw something that was only one word, but it was the most exciting thing we saw all day. It was called The Exit. been a very hard delivery. How are babies delivered, Mom? The mailman or by courier? 
Well, yes. Well, you see, babies um, are uh, delivered by the... Uh, by the stork. The stork? How does the stork know where to bring him? How does he get in? Ask your father, Lulu. Dad? How could a stork get a baby into a house? Dad? Why, uh, through the chimney, Lulu. Huh? The chimney? Yes, dear. Just like Santa. Oh! Phew. You be sure to find the kittens a good home, Tubby. Don't worry, Mrs. Wrigley. These kittens are in good hands with me. Here's two dollars for your trouble. Thank you, Mrs. Wrigley. Hey, stop! Hi, Annie. Why so gloom? My mother says we're expecting a baby any day. Oh, aren't you lucky? I'd give anything for the stork to come to my house with a baby. Phooey, I don't want another sister like Annie. And I don't need another brother like Iggy. I'd rather have kittens. Heck, I'd rather have measles. I wish that stork would take a wrong turn and leave my new sister at your house, Lulu. <laughs> what are you looking at? Maybe it doesn't have to make a wrong turn. Hello, Mom? Do storks deliver kittens, too? She went to get my dad. He's the stork expert. I'm starting to wonder how they ever got me. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. What you doing, Tubby? I'm teaching these kittens to climb trees, and this one picked it up right away. Maybe you should teach them how to climb down. I was just about to do that when you lucky fellas came along. Lucky? You bet. I'm going to give you first pick. You can have any kitten you want. Yuck! You got any puppies? Yeah! Kittens are for girls. How about a kiss for a little kitten, Gloria? Nope. How about for a dollar and a kiss? Nothing doing, Tubby Tompkins. We'll take two kittens for two dollars if you promise not to kiss us. So, hey, that's not right. That's all I had. Do you think the stork will get it? Sure. My dad says storks are really smart. When it comes to your house, he'll follow these pictures to my house, deliver the baby, and then deliver the kittens to you. Whoa! Try not to have a baby is sure a lot of work. Hiya, Tompkins. I hear you're paying kids to take these kittens off your hands. Um, <laughs> how much are you going to pay me for my mom's birthday present? I sure hope it's high enough for the stork to see. We better hurry, Lulu. I think the stork's coming with my kittens. There he is! Get him! You guys better get home and wait for the stork. Okay, bye. Bye. <gasps> Gosh, that stork sure is fast. Too fast. He got it all mixed up. I better get these kittens over to Annie's. Maybe the stork's still there. Congratulations, kids. You have a new baby brother. A brother? Hooray for the stork! Another brother? <laughs> I bet my parents will never make the switch now. I better get to Lulu's fast. What'd you do with the kittens, Tompkins? The stork gave you my kittens by mistake, Tubby. Where are they? Uh, I'll show you, Annie. See, boys, the kittens belong to Annie. Sorry. Darn. I'll have to pay for my mom's birthday present now. Lulu said she was going to your house, Annie. Hi, Mrs. Inch. It looks like that crazy stork messed up. It was supposed to give me the baby and Annie the kittens. Oh, don't be silly, Lulu. Storks don't deliver babies. Are those my kittens? 
Yep, that's definitely them. Well, if storks don't deliver babies, who does? An owl? Penguins? Maybe some other bird? The other day I was walking down the sidewalk with Tubby when... Yow! He pushed me right into the street. I couldn't believe it. But you know why he did it? Because he didn't want me to walk under a ladder. It's supposed to be bad luck, he said. Well, that might be true, but if you ask me, it's worse luck to be run over by a truck. <laughs> Today in science class, we learned all about Neanderthal man. He was this fellow with scraggly hair, a huge sloping forehead, only one big eyebrow, and he walked all hunched over. My teacher said he disappeared thousands and thousands of years ago, so I asked him, hey, when did you get back? It's quiet. It's like everyone's hiding. <laughs> Everyone is hiding. <laughs> Annie? Gloria? What are you doing? <laughs> We're crying. She's crying. I'm just upset. Those awful West Side Boys did this. West Side Boys? Where? Out there somewhere. And just look at what they did to my dress. You just need some water to wash it off, Gloria. Here's some water. <laughs> nice shot, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> you West Side boys should be ashamed of yourselves going around doing mean stuff to girls. Nice shot, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a girl too. It's time those West Side boys learned it's not nice to be mean to people. <laughs> ha! That was more fun than what we did to the girls! <laughs> sure showed Tubby and his gang. <laughs> oh! I hope the boys are okay. Tubby? <laughs> Those West Side boys sure have some nerve flooding our clubhouse. They've been on our side of town all day doing terrible things to us girls. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Who do they think they are playing tricks on our girls? We're the ones that are supposed to do that. What are you going to do about this, Tubby? Yeah, aren't you fellas going to get even with those West Side boys? Yeah. Let's go get them. We can't do anything. Those West Side boys are bigger than us. Yeah, forget it. They're bigger than us. Well, I'm not going to let them get away with it. Right. Even if we have to show them ourselves. Right. <gasps> West Side boys. Run. Hide. Get out of here. <laughs> Mr. O'Hooligan's goat. He butts something awful. This way! <laughs> oh, please don't hurt me. I'm just a little helpless girl. <laughs> Show us where those kids went and we'll think about it. They went in there. Good girl. Come on, boys. I guess you weren't talking about that kind of kid. <sighs> Just wait. We better.
better not see you girls again. <laughs> that was great, Annie. Now I have to sew my dress. I'd just throw it out if I were you. <laughs> we'll do some sewing, all right. Maybe we should have helped those girls. Those West Side boys will cream those girls if they try anything. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We got to make sure nothing too bad happens to our girls. I said, give me that cone, squirt. Ah! You little. Forget him, Spike. Look. Yeah, you can't catch us. Underwear, Spike. <laughs> and aren't you lucky? I just happen to have a needle and thread to fix your pants. If you want. No way! Okay. I guess you don't mind if all the girls in the neighborhood see your underwear. Okay, fix our pants. But don't look. Okay. I won't look. Yeah! Look! Look! Please, look! Hey! You leave our women alone. Or what? Or... Well, well, you'll see. I'm done. Ugh. She sewed us together. Yoo-hoo! Annie! Gloria! <gasps> wow! Come on down, but watch the nail. How did you do it, Lulu? I told you we were gonna show those West Side boys, but we decided to sew them instead. Any last words, West Side boys? Uncle! I think you mean aunt. Parents think revenge is immature. It's always, Lulu Moppet, don't be childish, or Lulu, I'm very disappointed with you. It's never nice going, Lulu. You really got Tubby that good. He'll be picking grass out of his shorts for weeks. Like, whatever happened to rewarding someone with a little encouragement? Instead, parents tell us to act grown up. Like, eat your broccoli. It's never go park the car. Anyway, my mother tells me revenge is childish and no one ever gets away with it. And then she makes me wash the dishes for making a mess in the living room. Boy, my mom sure gets away with revenge. Except that she doesn't call it that. She calls it discipline. Martha's eyesight isn't very good, and you were wearing a dress the last time she saw you. Oh, Mom! I was in disguise, solving a big case. <coughs> Whatever you say, dear. I'll be back soon. Hi, Mrs. Tompkins. Is Tubby up? <gasps> Mom, if word gets out that I got a doll, my reputation would be ruined. You're my best friend. I gotta hide this thing. I'm sorry, Lulu. Oh, sometimes Tubby just forgets his manners. Tubby, I came to give you your birthday present, even if you did slam the door in my face. I love you! Oh, Tubby! What a nice thing to say! Huh? You don't have to be afraid to say how you feel. 
Here. Gee, thanks. Oh, what a great lab. Ooh, come on, Lulu. Uh, let's play catch. You go and wait in the park, and I'll be right there. Start without me. How can I play catch with myself? What's the matter with you, anyway? Don't you like my present? You just wait. <sighs> wait a minute. Tubby's acting strange. Well, stranger than usual. I bet he's up to something. I'm gonna hang around and see just what. Let's play house! Let's play garbage can. If the fellers see me with a doll, they'll kick me out of the club for sure. Hey, I know. I'll give it to Lulu, but she can't know it's from me. Of course, this is a job for the spider, master of disguise. Once I don my disguise, I'll just make my way over to Lulu's. Nothing can go wrong, and no one will recognize me, even the fellers. Let's go get Tubby for the ball game. He's the best hitter in town. See? <laughs> and the girls? <laughs> Past the girl test. <gasps> What's Aunt Martha doing in my fantasy? Well, hello there, young man. At least she knows I'm a boy. A doll? For me? How perfect! But where did it come from? <laughs> now the perfect plan goes into action for real. I guess this will have to do. Finally, I knew it. He is up to something. But what? Nothing can go wrong. Hey, that looks like Tubby. This should be good. Hey, Tubby! <gasps> Come on, Iggy. Let's play ball. But what about Tubby? Forget Tubby. He can't hit a ball to save his life. Okay, fellers! <laughs> Hi, would you like to skip rope with us? No. Can we see your dolly? No. Oh, come on. I won't drop her. I'm extra graceful. Girl obviously never learned proper manners. That's no new girl. That's old Tubby. The nerve of Tubby trying to trick us that way. Let's get him. Oh, Tubby, my favorite niece. What a pretty dress you're wearing. And you're playing with the doll I gave you. Oh, gotta get to Lulu's and fast. What a nice girl my tubby is, taking her doll to her friend Lulu's house to play. Doll? My house? I'm gonna get there first. Hey, that girl stole our ball. That's no girl. I told you, that's tubby. Let's get him. Oh. Do you want to play house, Tubby? No, I don't want to play house. Uh, you, you said Tubby. Uh, how? Okay, Tubby, out with it. Oh, my aunt gave me this doll. I don't want it. Please take it away. No one can know. Giving me a present on your birthday. How sweet. I love it. Hey, everyone. Tubby's buying us sodas. What? I love you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sodas on me. Yay! Hey, wait a minute. Tubby's wearing a dress. <laughs> Worried you're getting older and turning into a grown-up? Well, here's Lulu's surefire quiz to prove you're still a kid. Is your idea of a well-balanced meal A, fish, vegetables, and rice, or B, a cupcake in each hand? Do you use a knife and fork A, all the time, or B, 
Only when someone's looking. Or when you get out of a bath, do the wrinkles A, go away after 10 minutes, or B, not at all. And when you brush and floss at night, are your teeth A, in your mouth, or B, in a glass on the sink? <laughs> <laughs>